Hi, welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound Channel. I'm part 38 in the series all about my Project 12 DIY modular analog synth. In this particular episode, we'll be looking at my latest voltage control filter, which is a Salon Key VCF. Um, the circuit I've used is the Barton Musical Circuits Salon Key. I've just built the circuit as is. So what I've not done is alter the circuit diagram or anything like that. So I'm not going to show you a circuit diagram. I haven't drawn one. But there is a link to the Barton Musical Circuits website where you can find not just the circuit diagram, but a full description of the circuit, everything you need to know. And I think you can actually buy a PCB board to build it on that if you want. If you don't want to buy the PCB board and you fancy putting it on your own bit of strip board, then I've done a strip board layout. And my strip board layout looks like this. It's probably not the neatest layout I've ever done. And the thing to note there is that there is a a jumper wire that links one side of the chip to the other. That's the easiest way I could get that connection in there. Um, but as you will hear, it actually works. Um, so yeah, so there we go. That's a, I, I will put that diagram in my Dropbox folder and there'll be a link to that down below. So you can get a, a decent copy of that. If you want to build that one, that version. Um, yeah, right, I'm rambling. The Salon Key filter, it, uh, as I understand it, it's Salon Key is, is a couple of guys who put a, a circuit together to overcome a problem with loss of signal on a, on a two stage filter. Um, so the, I think it was high impedance or something. I'm not an electronics expert. Uh, I only know bits of it from what I've found on an internet search. If you want to find more detail, do an internet search. And there's plenty out there. So, I'm, yeah, I'm, that's not my bike. What is my bike is making it work on a synth. So to do that, we need to control it. So what's the controls look like? If we look at the front panel, that looks like this. Um, so you've got... Um, cut off and resonance, what you'd expect on a on any filter. Then you've got a, a, a CV input and a CV level. Um, on the actual signal inputs, you've got two inputs. You've got a low pass and a high pass. Now, one of the things to note when you're building this, on, on the high pass input, with nothing plugged in, it needs to be grounded. So if you use a, a, a switched jack socket and connect the switch contact to ground, then with nothing plugged in, that input's grounded. As soon as you plug an input into it, it opens that switch and you get the signal through. The other thing which they say on the Barton website is that you can use both inputs at the same time. And I've tried this, and yes, it works. If you've got two uh, oscillators and you kind of run them at an interval between each other, and then put them through with two different filters, you, you get some great effects. I've tried this with some of my little boxes, and, and yeah, it's, it, it sounds good. Um, okay, but what does it sound like in the Project 12? Well, let's go over there and have a listen and see what we can do with the Salon Key VCF. For this demo, I've got a, a fairly straightforward patch set up. So I've got a saw wave oscillator going into the low pass filter input. Um, there's some CV coming from an envelope, but we'll, we'll come to that later. And I can animate the saw wave VCO with a, a simple four step sequencer. But for now, I've not got the sequencer running and we're just going to play a straight VCO signal through the filter so we can get a feel for the kind of things it will do. So we've got resonance set at 
probably a third, and the cook is about halfway. So if I bring the cook up, and then right back down, and you might be able to hear there's still a bit of uh, signal coming through. On most of my other VCF modules, if I turn the cut right down, it cuts the signal out completely because the frequency goes way below whatever we're feeding in there. This one doesn't seem to do that. We still have some signal coming through. Which is okay, as long as you know that's what it does, you can, you can work with it. Turn the resonant right off. Bring some resonance up. Start again, nice bit of fruitiness coming in. And yes, it will oscillate. Put it into high pass. So yeah, obviously with high pass as you turn the cut up, you lose some of the lower frequencies. Let's animate the uh, sequence suddenly. some resonance so okay I'm gonna go back to low pass for the uh, CV demonstration oh, I kind of Turn the cut down and switch in a looping envelope. Well, that's just a very short, simple demo, just basically demonstrate the functionality. Um, if I got a second VCR, I could have shown you both 
the love pass and high pass working together but I've kept this this little bit simple just so that you can kind of get a, a feel for what the filter sounds like. So yeah, you, you've got a link to the Barton site so you can go and look up the information and the circuit diagram. Um, you've got a Dropbox link to my strip board layout so if you fancy having your own Salon Key VCF then yeah, why not? Go on, have a go. Build your own.